This video covers the geography of the subcontinent of India. India is a subcontinent located in Asia. It includes diverse environments, including the highest mountain range in the world, the Himalayas, to forests filled with tigers, elephants, and even leopards. Other countries located on the subcontinent include India, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, and the Maldives. Topics covered are the mountains of India, the important rivers of India, the Deccan Plateau, the Tar Desert, and bodies of water near India. Topic number one is mountain ranges. There are three important mountain ranges of note in India. The Himalayas are the biggest mountain range on the subcontinent. 14 of the peaks are over 26,000 feet high. The three highest mountains are Mount Everest, K2, and Kachanjanga. Another mountain range of significance is the Hindu Kush mountain range. The Khyber Pass has been a passageway for invasion and trade into the subcontinent since the dawn of civilization. Last but not least are the Eastern and Western Ghats. The Western Ghats are more tropical because they get more moisture. The Eastern Ghats have hardwood trees and many rivers. The next topic is rivers. There are three important rivers of note in India. The Ganges is the longest and most important river on the Indian subcontinent from a cultural perspective. Varanasi is a city located along the banks of the Ganges. Every year, Hindu pilgrims bathe in the river for religious reasons. Unfortunately, the river is polluted in some places. Another important river is the Indus River. Its source is the Himalayas. Early human settlements like Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa first developed there. Finally, the Brahmaputra River is a third major river in India. It eventually joins the Ganges River. Rich minerals that have been carried down from the Himalayas remain in the soil of the Brahmaputra River. The next topic is the Deccan Plateau. The Deccan Plateau is a flat area of elevated land that is higher than the surrounding land. It lies between the eastern and western Ghats, which are mountains on the east and west coast of the Indian subcontinent. This landmass makes up more than 40% of India's land. The plateau receives about 30 inches of rain a year. Most of the rainfall occurs in the summer during the monsoon season. The climate varies from semi-arid in the north to tropical in most of the region with wet and dry seasons. Some of the oldest rocks are in this area dating back to 60 million years. Some of the hillier areas in the Deccan Plateau are covered in thin forests and bushes. Other areas are sunbaked with hard packed soil that is susceptible to flash floods. The next topic is deserts of India. Yes, the subcontinent of India has deserts. The Tar Desert is a desert located in the northern Indian region of Rajasthan and is the most crowded desert in the world. Although water is rare here, monsoons occasionally bring moisture to this dry area. Remember, a monsoon is a strong wind that brings heavy rain to the Indian subcontinent in the summer. There is wildlife in the desert. Also, there are gazelles, lizards, and many types of birds that make this biome home. There is also an interesting rat temple located in the Tar Desert called the Karni Mata Temple. The temple has thousands of rats and people nibble on the food that the rats have been eating. People offer food to the rats, such as bowls of milk. The next topic is bodies of water near India. There are three important bodies of water that surround the Indian subcontinent. These large bodies of water isolate India from the rest of the world, but they also provide trade routes by sea to other areas like Arabia and Southeast Asia. The largest body of water is the Indian Ocean, which completely surrounds the subcontinent of India. The Arabian Sea is part of the Indian Ocean and is located on the western part of the subcontinent. The Indus River empties into the Arabian Sea. On the eastern side of the subcontinent is the Bay of Bengal. Many rivers from India and Bangladesh drain into this body of water. Also, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands are in the sea. These islands are tropical and surrounded by coral reefs. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so and share my content with someone who might find it useful. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other educational videos about India on my channel. Take a look at the Gupta Empire or the Mauryan Empire videos.